Bitcoin on the daily chart, a series of lower highs and lower lows. A couple of days ago, I made a video with this chart. I identified some pockets of resistance. Let's go over it real quick. Before more downside correction, this one stood out for me, clicking from that pivot low, pivot high, projecting to this new recent low that provided the first symmetry resistance. Over here, I have another pullback, also similar in dollar amount before more downside correction. So clicking from that pivot low, pivot high, and then pivot low. In addition, I can use my fib retracements, clicking from that pivot high to pivot low, also provides a 382 retracement. Coming back to this chart, this is where we identify that pocket of resistance, right around 32,300 and some change. And since then, we traded to the downside. Let's take a quick look. If you're shorting this right now, how should you be managing this trade? You want to go on a smaller time frame. And from here, previously if your stop was above this cluster. Now you're moving it down. You can use the 34 moving average on the one hour to gradually ratchet down your stop. So that's how you're locking your profits. If you want to be a little bit more conservative, you can go on the 15 minute time frame and use the 34 on the 15 minute time frame to lock in more of your profits along the way. Of course, none of this financial advice. Have you subscribed to my Fibonacci Zone newsletter? What you will get, you will get a free mini course with instructional videos on Fibonacci trading, access to high probability setups that I'm buying and selling and why, and also lessons from my life, the victories and defeats to help you grow. I'll leave the link below in the descriptions. Look forward to connecting with you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. Our first goal is a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area. Talk to you soon.